Yophelim Jubilees 32. And he abode that night at Beat El, and Levi dreamt that they had ordained and made him the priest of El Elyon, him and his sons forever. And he awoke from his sleep and blessed Yahuwah. And Yaakov rose early in the morning on the 14th of this month, and he gave a tithe of all that came with him, both of men and cattle, both of gold and every vessel and garment. Yea, he gave tithes of all. And in those days Rachel became pregnant with her son Binyamin, and Yaakov counted his sons from him upwards, and Livy fell to the portion of Yahuwah, and his father clothed him in the garments of the priesthood, and filled his hands. And on the fifteenth of this month he brought to the altar fourteen oxen from amongst the cattle, and twenty-eight rams, and forty-nine sheep, and seven lambs, and twenty-one kids of the goats as a burnt offering on the altar of sacrifice, well-pleasing for a sweet savor before Elohim. This was his offering in consequence of the vow which he had vowed that he would give a tenth with their fruit offerings and their drink offerings. And when the fire had consumed it, he burnt incense on the fire, over the fire, and for a thank offering, two oxen and four rams and four sheep, four he goats and two sheep of a year old and two kids of the goats. And thus he did daily for seven days. And he and all his sons and his men were eating this with joy there during seven days and blessing and thanking Yahuwah who had delivered him out of all his tribulation and had, had given him his vow. And he tithed all the clean animals and made a burnt sacrifice. But the unclean animals he gave not to Levi, his son, and he gave him all the souls of the men. And Livy discharged the priestly office at Beat El before Yaakov, his father, in presence, rather in preference to his ten brothers. And he was a priest there. And Yaakov gave his vow. Thus he tithed again the tithe to Yahuwah and sanctified it, and it became holy unto him. And for this reason it is ordained on the heavenly tablets as a Torah for the tithing again the tithe to eat before Yahuwah from year to year in the place where it is chosen that his name should dwell. And to this Torah there is no limit of days forever. This ordinance is written that it may be fulfilled from year to year in eating the second tithe before Yahuwah in the place where it has been chosen and nothing shall remain over from it from this year to the year following. For in its year shall the seed be eaten till the days of the gathering of the seed of the year, and the wine till the days of the wine, and the oil till the days of its season. And all that is left thereof and becomes old, let it be regarded as polluted, let it be burnt with fire, for it is unclean. And thus let them eat it together in the sanctuary, and let them not suffer it to become old. 
and all the tithes of the oxen and sheep shall be holy unto Yahuwah, and shall belong to his priests, which they will eat before him from year to year. For thus is it ordained and engraven regarding the tithe on the heavenly tablets. And on the following night, on the twenty-second day of this month, Yaakov resolved to build that place and to surround the court with a wall and to sanctify it and make it holy forever for himself and his children after him. And Yahuwah appeared to him by night and blessed him and said unto him, Your name shall not be called Yaakov, but Yashara'el shall thy name your name, rather shall they name your name. And he said unto him again, I am Yahuwah, who created the heavens and the earth, and I will increase you and multiply you exceedingly. And kings shall come forth from you, and they shall judge everywhere, wherever the foot of the sons of men have trodden. And I will give to your seed all the earth which is under heaven, and they shall judge all the nations according to their desires. And after that they shall get possession of the whole earth, and inherit it forever. And he finished speaking with him, and he went up from him, and Yaakov looked till he had ascended into heaven. And he saw in a vision of the night, and behold, an angel descended from heaven with seven tablets in his hands. And he gave them to Yaakov, and he read them and knew all that was written therein, which would befall him and his sons throughout all the ages. And he showed him all that was written on the tablets and said unto him, Do not build this place and do not make it an eternal sanctuary and do not dwell here, for this is not the place. Go to the house of Avraham your father and dwell with Yitzhak your father until the day of the death of your father. For in Mitzrayim you shall die in peace, and in this land you shall be buried with honor in the sepulcher of your fathers, with Avraham and Yitzhak. Fear not, for as you have seen and read it, thus shall it all be, and do write down everything as you have seen and read. And Yaakov said, Yahuwah, how can I remember all that I have read and seen? And he said unto him, I will bring all things to your remembrance. And he went up from him, and he awoke from his sleep, and he remembered everything which he had read and seen, and he wrote down all the words which he had read and seen. And he celebrated there yet another day, and he sacrificed thereon according to all that he sacrificed on the former days, and called its name Addition, for this day was added, and the former days he called the Feast. And thus it was manifested that it should be, and it is written on the heavenly tablets, wherefore it was revealed to him that he should celebrate it, and add it to the seven days of the feast. And its name was called Addition, because that it was recorded amongst the days of the feast days, according to the number of the days of the year. And in the night, on the 23rd of this month, Deborah, Rivka's nurse, died, and they buried her beneath the city 
under the oak of the tree, rather of the river, and he called the name of this place the river of Deborah, and the oak, the oak of the morning of Deborah. And Rivka went and returned to her house, to his father, Yitzhak, and Yaakov sent by her hand rams and sheep and he goats, rather, he goats, that she should prepare a meal for his father, such as he desired. And he went after his mother till he came to the land of Cabratan, and he dwelt there. And Rachel bore a son in the night, and called his name Son of My Sorrow, for she suffered in giving him birth. But his father called his name Binyamin on the eleventh of the eighth month, in the first of the sixth week of this jubilee. And Rachel died there, and she was buried in the land of Ephrata. The same is Beat Lechem, and Yaakov built a pillar on the grave of Rachel, on the road above her grave.